All right, here we go. Look at people here. Here, TSI motorcycle. Oh yeah, did I mention it's Harley Davidson motorcycle? But yeah, we are here to try a new Street Glide. I think it may be a Street Glide special. Actually, no, a Street Glide uh, 2016. And I'm also going to try, ready? Drum roll, everybody. Big suspense. I know you all been losing sleep waiting to hear what bike I am going to try. Riding Country is going to try. I'll let you know in a little bit, okay? The suspense. It's killing me. Don't worry about it. It's killing me too. But they haven't rolled it out yet, so I kind of want to have it in front of me when I reveal it to you. This outstanding, outstanding bike. Or maybe trike. Or maybe Honda Rebel 250. Who knows? We will see. But I am here in Ellington, Connecticut at TSI Harley Davidson. These guys are great, man. I'm telling you, and I'm not just trying to kiss Harley butt here. But, hey Rubio, what up buddy? But um, these guys last Saturday, I was out with, with the wife and we had a little problem, say to the least. We went out last Saturday, it was uh, hot as hell. And we just wanted to get out early, like at eight o'clock in the morning, go for an hour ride. You know, Saturday is uh, usually our big ride day, but it's just been so hot and miserable. We figured we'd go out early, you know, enjoy a quick ride and uh, just get out of the house and come home and you know do the home duties whatever stuff we, we've been neglecting forever now because of riding but anyways we broke down we had a little problem with rubio here with the throttle but everything's cool now um it was a saturday it was about nine o'clock in the morning they had a stunt show going on here they were only open until three they had a bunch of bikes that they were, they were already servicing but they they took me in they took us in um it, it was great i mean these guys again they didn't have to do that uh a very busy day I, i'm sure they really really weren't looking forward to us you know another bike anyway this service but anyways these guys took us in man they're so cool uh, my mother-in-law came down to help us with rides to get us back home in case or whatever but um that was awesome again thank you ann but they took care of her you know made sure she had a you know place to sit stuff to drink all that good stuff very nice people so anyways I talked to them and I, I you know got talking to them about the channel and stuff what I'm doing and they invited me down to to come and check a couple bikes out and I told them that you know I have an interest in a, in a, in a couple myself that I'm really you know I've been really looking at and then and, and then street glide everybody's been trying to tell me I need to try a new street glide oh my Rubio I don't know buddy um, anyways I'm gonna try a new street glide and I'm going to try something else. And I can't wait because I'm very interested and excited to try it. All right. We'll check back in with you guys once we get going. Okay, folks. Here it is. The moment you all been waiting for. Are you ready? Oh, little peek. Are you ready? Oh, yeah, little, little, uh, uh, yeah. Here we go. Voila. <laughs> yeah, that's right, kids. Right in country. Excuse me, Riding Country is taking out the 2016 Tri-Glide with Assistant Reverse. It's got the uh, twin cooled engine. Pretty cool stuff, man. I've never ridden one before. Uh, a, that's part of the reason why I'm taking it out. B, uh, you know, personal reasons. I may be very interested in having one of these sooner than later. Um, which is awesome. I, I've never, again, I've never ridden one before. Very interested in trying it. Uh, we're going to try the Street Glide too, the 2016 Street Glide, which they're probably not going to film. Uh, again, just because you know, there's a lot of a lot of reviews out there. Um, if, if you want to check them out, uh, there's plenty out there to, that can do a, you know much better justice than I can with because you know my specialties definitely is not motorcycles so you're not going to get the ins and outs of this bike what you're going to get is a knucklehead riding around on a tri glide <laughs> I mean, i'm so excited this is this is seriously i am at disneyland all over again although i've never been to disneyland but i can pretend this is awesome so we're gonna finish up doing all the paperwork and all the liability work and you know, background checks on me and and all that good stuff I guess that they have to do. So I will be back with you on the road with the 2016 
freaking Harley Davidson drag glide, man. The 103. Oh man, this is nuts. This is gonna be so fun. I, I wonder if I can sit back here and drive it. That's so cool. Awesome. All right, guys, we'll see you on the road. <laughs> Holy crap! I'm on a drag light 2016! <laughs> this is nuts! This is my first time ever being on one of these. And it's different! <laughs> That's for sure. Wow! This is nuts! This is pretty damn cool though. I, I can definitely get used to it. It, it is really, really different. Um, it, it feels like the bike wants to pull, you know, kind of swaying a little bit, left, right. Uh, not that bad, but it, it definitely has a little drag to it, in my opinion. Unless that's just my butt, <laughs> could be trying to keep up with us. But, um, yeah, this is, this is different. What a different ride. Wow, wow. And thank you, Todd. This young guy up here, his name's Todd from TSI Hardly. What a great kid, man. Really good, good dude. Um, probably not gonna vlog too, too much because this is a different, diff different experience for me entirely. And I need, definitely have to get used to this feel. Oh. Well, hopefully I stay alive. But. Anyway, what well, yeah, a beautiful day, beautiful day for doing this. Um, uh, we're somewhere in Connecticut, and let me just figure out how this thing stops and turns. This is weird. Wow. <laughs> <I'm gonna laughs> I'll be right with you, Todd. Just uh, give me a couple days. <laughs> wow. Um, it's got the 103 engine in it. But obviously, you're not going to feel the full power of that because you know you got the extra wheel, extra weight on this bike, and kind of diminishes a lot of the extra power you would get. Like the Street Glide I just rode, what a difference! My 09 Street Glide has a 96. This one has the 103, and there is a difference. That's for sure. Um, seems like the new one on a new Street Glide, it kind of get more distance between gears and. I'm going to bog out here, um, but any overall that 2016 was really nice, that was cool, but this right here is, wow, what a different, the turning, I just, I haven't ridden one long enough to feel comfortable going quicker in turns, I don't know, it feels like it's going to tip over, this is wild, almost like a snowmobile, it's like your butt's dragging and, I don't know. I don't know what the hell that red light's for, but I hope it's <laughs> nothing important. But I wanted to to try the trike because it's kind of just thinking of the future, you know. It's um. I'm not the youngest man anymore, and I mean, technically I should be years away from from having to, if it's a matter of having to have a trike, you know, technically I'm, you know, should be a few years away from that, but, you know, physical issues, bone problems, you know, but uh, where it just may be easier to maybe, <laughs> or maybe not. Wow, good turn. <laughs> Uh, I'm pulling a trailer, um, you know. But anyways, yeah, you know, physical reasons too. I am kind of interested in this, and safety reasons too. You know, overall, being on three, I guess, technically is somewhat safer than being on two, but not necessarily. But you know, I guess it gives you a peace of mind, right? But, this is why. I'm on a trike. This is nuts. 
Wow, if you guys who ride these trikes, man, on the wreck, I tell you, I, I assume you must, you, you must get used to the way this feels. Uh, but you must have huge arms. I'm mean, serious. You guys must be freaking jacked. You know, you guys riding these all the time. Because I, I, what, we've been there like five minutes and my arms, I mean, wow. I feel like I'm getting a pretty good workout. We don't like that. That's not good. <laughs> you don't want to feel like we're, we're actually doing something. But for the five minutes I've been on this, it's, it, it's, I, I don't know, I don't know what to say. You, you really have to try one. Um, it, it, it's different, man. It's not, but like this turn, it's, this is different. I'm trying to lean like I would my bike, but I don't need to do that. And, you know, you want to lean, but you, you've got to turn. It's, what an experience. Wow, this is, this is like, seriously being at Disney on a ride. <laughs> I do have to admit, admit the first minute when we left, um, I, I used to have a second guess. It's like, holy crap! I probably feel safer on a unicycle right now, but I'm quickly getting used to it. Really, it's all about the turning with these things and the butt drag. It feels like these, the butt wants to go left when you're going right, and vice versa. But I guess it's, it really is about the turning. Once you get used to that, I mean, we're going to be be golden here and for some reason I don't know if it's just with this bike but it feels like I'm pushing with my right arm more to keep her straight you know I don't know why that would be but it feels like I'm pushing forward I get a little speed here Whoa. <laughs> Um, let's not get a little speed here. <laughs> Mama, <laughs> I'm coming home. I'm coming home to see you. Oh boy. <laughs> yeah, I got quiet real quick after that last turn. <laughs> it sits up high too. I feel much higher than my street glide. That's for sure. That's another thing that's kind of throwing me off. And I'm used to, to the half apes, used to my arms being up higher and things. And this poor guy is trying to bring, bring me on some roads where I can kind of open it up. But <laughs> um, I'm really not feeling like opening this thing up right now, especially with these twisties here. Okay, well, I mean, you know, overall, I, it did take me a while to get used to it. It's so, so different. And my arms were tired, and I finally getting some blood to my uh, to my fingers, a little white knuckle there for a bit. But I mean, it took again. Once I got used to it, it wasn't that bad. Uh, at first, it was very tough, very different. But it really wasn't that bad, man. Um, probably a little easier than than driving that. But um, I definitely going to try it again. Uh, maybe get up on a highway. Um, well not but it's it's definitely an arm workout and the fact that you don't have to put your feet down on the ground um, kind of tripped you out in the beginning and you when you first stop you you automatically want to put your feet down and you realize hey you don't have to but uh, yeah it definitely something that takes a little time to get used to but um, it wasn't bad towards the end I uh, started getting used to a little bit better Todd towards the end. Uh, sorry in the beginning I was a little behind. I came out the gate. I'm like, holy crap. It's this cool. is... It's, it's different. <laughs> See what I'm saying now? When you're on the road now? You can, yeah. You can feel the crown on the road. Yeah. If there's a bump on the right side on these bikes, you know, you see a little bit more. Exactly. The it, Turning's a, turning is a little bit different because you want to go like this. Yes, you do. Oh, the first the first couple minutes, I almost crapped my pants. To be honest with you, but uh, is it just me? Is these these things have the, a tendency to sway a little bit in the back? Like, it I, seems like it wanted to pull a little the, bit. That's what what it is. Is it's the way the road like when they have the road cupped like this? Yes. You're pretty much flinging yeah. it from trying to. It's not a that's true. Yeah. Middle of the road. Mm -hmm. Track off the road. That's the biggest thing with them is you got to find a happy medium where yeah. you sit on like the you know good where because if you're too far over. It kind of brings you towards the, the yellow line if you're too far this way. Sure. The white line. It's just, 
the way the roads are. I, I assume on a highway it must kind of level off yeah, a little bit better. Yeah, highways are a lot flatter, so yeah. going down the highway it tracks mm -hmm. a lot better because there's no crown on it. Yeah, yeah. No, it, it's it's like I said, towards the last couple minutes where I started to catch up to you, <laughs> it, did, I, it did feel comfortable. It's a nice, not a bad ride at all. Um, definitely something to get used to. Get a good workout, that's for sure, your arms. That's awesome. Awesome, good, good stuff. All right, I am on my way back home for my test ride of the 2016 Tri-Glide and 2016 Street Glide. This was the first time and it was a great experience. I, I want to thank Todd so much at TSI Harley in Ellington, Connecticut. You know, come on down there and, and and see Todd if you're in the neighborhood or well now he's what a great kid man you know I should have had the, the camera on earlier he was going through the bikes I mean top to bottom telling me everything you could possibly need to know about those bikes and he did a great job for a young guy that has quite the passion for for bikes and Harley but that was a really, really good experience. I want to thank, thank him again and thank TSI you know, again from last Saturday, uh, saving us and helping my little Rubio. Um, hold on, I gotta see where we're going. Okay, 1.1 mile. So I can talk for a mile. But so, overall, would I buy one? Um, I, I definitely would have to go try the Can-Am Spider route again uh, more than just getting on it to see you know for two minutes see how it feels like I did in my first and only time riding one I would really have to take it out uh, like I did with this with the Tri-Glide but I, I definitely will consider it like I said I started feeling more comfortable towards the end and it really you know started to feel kind of cool you know I, I really I, I did like it uh, thank you thank you so much for joining me and, and please you get a chance you go click the, the, the uh, like button. Uh, last time you, I asked you guys, and and you all did. I got a, you know, double the likes on the last video. I appreciate you doing that so much. Um, it really, really, really helps the channel out. And you know, I'll talk more about that too. What I did I miss my? Oh yeah, missed my turn. 